Last night I cleaned out the loose neck block on this old Katie Lux and I glued it up. I went to a good deal of trouble to make these calls that are pressing the block into shape where I wanted it. And I used three different types of glues on this job. Tight Bond is just the all around good wood shop glue. It's a woodworker's glue and we use it all the time. Bottled high glue is what you use when it's an old guitar and you're dealing with a high glue joint and you don't have the time to work with hot high glue, which gels pretty quickly. Hot high glue is the favorite for vintage instruments and for really strong joints. It's the first glue I go to when I can use it. I thought that by going through my clamp process backwards would be a good way to show you why I use three different glues and where I used them. One thing I found on this guitar I haven't seen before is a giant shoulder brace. It's shaped kind of like a mustache. It's curved and then straight across here. It's big and it's thick, 9 sixteenths of an inch, made of spruce, and it's glued in the way so that I couldn't get at the neck block through the sound hole if I'd wanted to for cleaning or applying glue. And it was loose on the base side where you see this clamp. So I had to glue this at the same time that I did the neck block. I used the liquid high glue here because it has a long open time. It gave me time to get through that small sound hole, get the glue in there, clean it up, leave that and go to the main block and put the hot high glue in there and get that clamped up. And then I came back and put this final clamp in through the sound hole. I couldn't do any of this if it wasn't for the special call I made here and the one here that pulls the block into shape. And if you notice that these spool clamps are sawed flat and sanded so that they could reach underneath my bridge. I have a drawer full of these that I use on a lot of jobs because when you have one flat side on a spool clamp, you can get closer to the next clamp to it and get a more even pressure. So that's hot hide glue. This is bottled hide glue. This is a bridge that lets me clamp the sagging neck block back into position, which I did. And this bolt is holding my block in place so I wouldn't fumble and drop it inside the guitar. There's where I used the tight bond. The first thing I did on this job was take some 2x4s, smooth the surface and glue up a block that took about 35 minutes to dry. At that time I made this, so I kept moving the whole time. After about 35-40 minutes this was dry enough to bandsaw to shape. And the whole idea here is that this passes over the shoulder brace, that's how thick it is. It doesn't touch the real neck block, it pokes it at the top. So all the pressure came here and I was able to take a real sag out of the shoulders and it's almost the same shape as the bottom edge now. I'm really happy with the way this job came out. If you see the curve of the shoulders there, that's where the guitar was built. Up towards the top of the neck block it was caved in. The opposite of what you see here. I've almost got it as perfect as the bottom edge and I did that with this call because it pressed on the top edge. If you look here, my call is even curved. I wanted to put pressure in the center of the block to be sure it came out there, and I did. Now what I'm going to do is make some replacement binding for the section where it rotted out and fell out, and then I'll be done.